Hello uh, again. This is Spartan Warrior 117. Um, it's been a while since I've done another figure review, so I thought I'd do one on the ODST Orbital Drop Shock Trooper, um, made by Todd McFarlane, released in the Halo 3 Series 2 uh, action figure line. Um, as you can see, the figure is highly, very highly detailed. Uh, hold on. Alright, the figure is highly detailed. Um, it has quite a lot of good moving parts to it. And another cool feature about this that um, you can do is actually take off his armor, as you can see here. Uh, I don't know if you can take the chest piece off. I haven't really tried. You might, I don't think you. Yeah. No. I don't think the chest piece comes off, but his shoulder pads do, which um, you can actually fit on your other Spartans. They don't fit as uh, well as the required pieces on the multiplayer figures, but um, they do sort of fit, so it gives you uh, one of those rare pieces of armor. Um, if you can see the detail in his chest there you can see that he has a lot of buckles and uh, armor plating pieces attached and I think it's also cool is that he's got um, gray black camouflage on his undersuit and uh, his visor is blue uh, just like in the game um, the weapon he comes with is the BR-55 battle rifle. Um, it already comes with the tab inserted, but um, you can probably tell from this video it's a really thin rifle. And what pains me to say is that it has a hole in it. They put a hole through the battle rifle for reasons I wish they hadn't. Um, it's also fairly small compared to the uh, Halo 3 uh, Spartan multiplayer figure of the ODST. Um, I'll do a size comparison if I do a video on the ODST multiplayer figure, the GameStop exclusive, but um, it, it's very small. Very odd too that it, it's as tiny as it is, but it does, it, it does fit very well into his hand. Um, as you can see there, he's, a, he's clearly able to hold it with only one hand. Sorry about that. He's clearly able to hold it with just one hand. Um, if you... Uh, I'm probably boring you guys to death. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get him to hold it like he does in the game. Oh well. I'll do it later. Um, anyway, the uh, ODST is... Uh, very nice figure. All in all, I give it a 5 out of 5 for detail and um, uh, poses. Um, 3 out of 5 for playability, as uh, it's not as um, uh, limber as the multiplayer figures because they have a lot more uh, joints to them than this. But still, if you got a couple of these guys, uh, if you found a few, I would buy them, but um, I don't know how much they are around everywhere else, but near where I live, they're about $12.99 a piece, so if you find them, I'd probably get a couple because I haven't seen too many of these guys. This is the only one I've seen in my entire town and the city uh, next to it, so I would consider them rare um, and a must-buy for any Halo fan. Um, if you guys have any questions on the figure, or if you want to request more figures, maybe from the Series 1 line, you just tell me, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Um, well, that's pretty much all I got on the ODST figure. Uh, this is Spartan Warrior 117 signing off.